Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Friday, October 22nd, 2021. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Happy Friday, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Lance Foule. And I'm Leo Carl. We start off today's show with an announcement from Mrs. Esfendis. Good morning, Mrs. Esfendis. Good morning, Leo and Lance. Good morning, Westfield High School. I would like to take a moment to recognize three of our Westfield High School seniors who have received the President's Volunteer Service Award. This award honors individuals who have volunteered 100 hours towards a meaningful cause which positively impacts communities. I'd like to start with recognizing Reagan Hickey, awarded for her work raising awareness and educating children about food allergies. Congratulations, Reagan. Adriana Link was awarded for her work in raising awareness and assisting seniors with dementia. Congratulations. And and Bella Legata is awarded for her work in building a school library and promoting children literacy. Congratulations. Congratulations on this award. Thank you for your service and the positive impact you have made in each of your respective causes. Thanks, Mrs. Esfendis, and congrats, guys. Are you a student athlete who will qualify for a physical education exemption in your next season? The process now is online only. To register, go to the physical education website or to the athletics website to bring up the document. Fill out the required information and upload any documents that are necessary. The deadline dates are listed on the form, so be sure to submit your form on time. If you have any questions, see your counselor or Ms. Torok. Registration for AP exams are open. The deadline to register is approaching quickly on November 8th. To register, visit totalregistration.net slash AP slash 311585 or go to the high school testing page on WHS's website. See your AP teacher or Ms. Qualshi in guidance with any questions. Remember that anyone who wants to take part in Model UN needs to sign up with the Y site. Please see Mr. Farabout if you have any questions. The No Place for Hate Committee will hold its meeting on Monday, October 25th, immediately after school in Cafeteria B. Come to Folio's Halloween Open Mic Coffee House on October 29th at 7 p.m. in room 166. It's only $5 to enter and performers get in free. Food and drinks will be offered. The sign-up sheet is found on our website, www.westfieldfolio.com. The website is also linked in our Instagram bio, at Westfield Folio. Show up in your best costume and receive a goodie bag. Attention, Blue Devil Steppers Club. The first meeting will be on Thursday, October 28th in CAF B. Attention class of 2022. There are still many time slots available for senior photos or retakes. Photos begin October 25th and end November 1st. All seniors must be photographed by November 1st for the yearbook or your picture will not be included. If you've not made an appointment, please do so as soon as possible. See your email for the flyer with details and a link to the time slots. Appointments can only be made during a free period. Parents were also sent a link. Photos will be taken in the upstairs auditorium foyer. October is a month for treats, but did you know that most candies are wrapped in not-so-friendly materials? These colorful little wrappers are simply too difficult and too expensive to recycle because they're made of multiple materials like plastic, aluminum, and paper. Most waste management companies don't recycle them and they end up in landfills. Rubicon Company started a mission in 2019 called Trick or Trash to recycle these candy wrappers and keep them out of landfills. The environmental science classes are asking you, the students, to help our environment by collecting candy wrappers during the month of October. When collecting candy wrappers at home, place them in a reusable bag and then empty your bag in the trick or trash bins located in rooms 182, 282, and 386. Please encourage your family and friends to join in and happy recycling. We now go to sports with Michael Cerrotti. Good morning, WHS. I'm Michael Cerrotti, and here is today's BDTV sports update. It's a big weekend for the Blue Devils, but let's start with yesterday. The boys' soccer team beat Union 1 0 with a goal by Matias Arbelez. They will play at 6.30 tomorrow against Summit in the Union County semifinal at ALJ. The field hockey team won 5-0 versus Cranford behind a hat-trick by Lucy Minio, and they will be back on the field today versus Metuchen at Keller at 4. Also tonight, the Union County Championship is on the line for the volleyball team. At 7.30, they take on the one seed Kent Place at Kane. Coming off a 28-7 win over Elizabeth, the football team hosts Ridge for Senior Day tomorrow at 2 o'clock at Keller. The fifth-ranked girls' soccer team also made the county semis 
and will play Governor Livingston on Sunday at 4, also at ALJ. Gymnastics took second place in the Union County meet yesterday, and we want to congratulate junior Jess D'Agosta on winning All-State Athlete of the Week. That's all for today's sports update. Back to you, Lance and Leo. Thanks, Michael. It's Mole Day. Here to tell us more about that is Mrs. Glynn. Good morning, Mrs. Glynn. Good morning! I just wanted to wish you all a happy Mole Day from all of the chemistry teachers. And even though Mole Day is officially tomorrow, on October 23rd, we're celebrating it today. And a lot of people ask what a mole is. Well, it's just a unit. Just like a dozen is 12, a mole of something would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So if you had $12, a dozen dollars, that would be $12, right? But if you had a mole of dollars, well, that would be 602 and then 21 zeros at the end. So you'd be really stinking rich. <laughs> so hopefully you'll find a student wearing a Mole Day t-shirt and celebrating Mole Day today. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you, Miss Glenn. And that concludes today's show. If you'd like to submit an announcement to be read, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at WHSBDTV. Have a great weekend, WHS, and go Blue Devils!